Hey guys, this week we are back with our favorite Sophia and she's gonna cook an incredible easy recipe Olive for oil, us. Salt, rosemary, yep. and six beets. Let's yeah, say. six beets, six medium sized beets. And foil. Yes, that's all. Perfect, simple. So Sophia, I'm so happy to have you back. I think yeah. everybody's very excited. Aww. So nice, I'm so happy to be here. Aww. I'm so excited. To tell the story about the second recipe with you is that when we did the first one, you told me about how you do colors in your head first and then sure. you will think of the flavors. So I was like, oh, you have color moves like me, so we have to go in that direction for the next one. And it's really funny because you gave me that the colors I love, like this sort of beets color, so it's like, Pink, red, or orangey. Yes. And then I was like, oh, okay, so let's dress in that mood. And then we came together today. We're like, <laughs> I was really embodied. I I went for it. I was like, I'm gonna dress how I feel. And I, I put on my. I was like, maybe it's too much, too much sleeve. Like maybe. And then I come and I'm like, wait a second. Not only are we matching with color, but she also has a gorgeous sleeve. <laughs> And they have the same question as you. <laughs> so, like, wait, the sleeves too much? No, it's perfect. This is a case it's for fine. you. I am really dying to see what you are hey. going to cook today. I'm your assistant, so please use me. I'm ready. You're ready to cut some beets? Yes. <laughs> okay. So we're making roasted beets with pistachio dressing and herb ricotta. So what do we need? These are the beets we're using. We're actually using two different kinds of beets. These are your regular, just red beet that you always see. And these are Kyoga beets. And they're my favorite thing in the world. And most time on the sweet spectrum, uh, beets start at zero and they go to five. They are actually negative. So they're really, really, really sweet. And when they roast, they get this incredible, like the dream lip color. Like they're gorgeous, it's amazing. Okay. We're gonna roast them with rosemary, and which is gonna go perfect with the lemon and pistachio, which is really, really nice. Okay. And then the herb ricotta is just gonna change the entire whole entire spectrum of how we do this. And it, it will last you a while, which I think is really nice to make it a dish that's not just dinner. It's also doubles as breakfast or lunch if you want to cool. do it well. So I kind of made this recipe, it can be good for two things. It can be great for, I'd say, three to four people to have like a dinner portion, or it'd be great for six to eight people to have to share. So okay. that's kind of the way that I thought about this recipe in terms yeah, of working. Nice. I'd say in terms of recipe, it's really only four ingredients. You're gonna need some rosemary, some beets, salt, and some olive oil. And then we'll cook them right here in aluminum foil, which is, I mean, you can't, you really can't get easier. You don't even really okay. need a pan. You like a big knife. So. Yeah, baby. I really love doing this with the skins on, but to save yourself some time, if you're like, I'm in a hurry, these are already gonna take 90 minutes to cook, go ahead and peel them. That's totally fine, okay? okay. This is a normal red beet, okay, with the skin on. You do the same recipe, just put it, same thing we're gonna do, skin on. And once it cooks, the skin will just come off so easy. We're gonna work with peeled beets. Today, okay. Right? I'm just gonna cut this in sections, and you can see, I mean, they're oh, just. That's so beautiful. I mean, this is like nature. They just grow like this. Yeah, it's it's kind of unbelievable. We'll cut these in half again, and then cut everything into fourths. Yes. Turn them on their side so they're sturdy, oh, yeah. so you don't hurt yourself. There you go. Yeah. It's so beautiful. So beautiful. <laughs> awesome. Say you want to do a mixture and you want to use Kyoga, Golden Beets, and Red Beets. They all need their own separate piece. Okay, so that's the same family, even though this looks darker than this? Mm -hmm. okay. Yeah, these will be fine. These will be fine. So what we're going to do is we're going to take all the beets as is. I mean, like, this is so simple. I mean, okay. it's like, put them in here. So grab some olive oil. Mm -hmm. Like this? Yep, and then some salt. This is just an entry level of flavor right here. Okay, they're gonna get way more flavor later, so it's not super important to like okay. over So it's almost like this little spoon is yes, it's good. It's okay. exactly. Okay. And then so now's the right rosemary part. I like to really rub and get also oh, the flavor exactly. Really, really, really activate that mm -hmm. rosemary. Because uh, you tip. smell it, that herb is really gonna just be insane. It reminds me of salsa friends. So gorgeous. And I mean, even like the color, like look at how beautiful this is. I mean, it's just insane. It's insane, it's my favorite thing. But now what you're gonna do, if you will, almost create a little boat, right? Mm -hmm. Exactly, gorgeous. And then we're gonna take another piece and put it right on top. We're gonna literally make a little present, right? And the oven, 375 for 90 minutes. I figured it out. Cook timer, <laughs> oven, 90 minutes, enter. Okay. It's done. Get it. Just throw Is it that in. the right? I never know which left. That's, that's perfect. That's good? That's perfect, yeah. 
Love it. And see what I mean? You don't even need a pen. Ta da! Forget it. <laughs> okay, Great. good. So now we have time to do all this stuff. Exactly. So for the dressing, yep. what do we need? We are going to need one shallot. I have two cloves of garlic. And then we're going to use the zest of two lemon. Juice of one lemon, zest of both. Okay. And then we're going to toast these pistachios. Okay. They are going to help the dressing emulsify. We're also going to use some fresh herbs. A little bit of Dijon mustard. We toast the pistachios to impart. There's nothing more delicious, right, than a raw pistachio. But when you toast a pistachio and then you put it in that dressing, it's like game changer, okay? okay? It's super easy to do, but also super easy to mess up. So you want to make sure that when you do, really paying attention to them. Because okay. they burn really easy. Any kind of pan, doesn't even matter. You can also do this in the oven. Medium heat and just put dry, no oil. Don't put anything down okay. in the pan. And put them all on, and you want to spread them out evenly, just like this. Mm -hmm. And just keep an eye out on them. And so once those are done, we're going to chop those up, and we're going to use okay. half of them in the dressing. And the other half we're going to use as garnish later okay. on. The rest of the dressing. And we're going to zest both of these lemons. The white, the pith of the lemon is super bitter, and mm -hmm. you don't want that in your dressing. You really only want the yellow. Sometimes if you have to, to get all the zest on the other side, that's fine too. Most things could use a floral note, especially since we're working with a really earthy ingredient, like mm -hmm. a meat. I think anything lighter and more floral could be really nice. And also I love the color. Oh my god, I can almost right? taste it's it. So when you do uh, zest, it's super important to get organic uh, right. Oh my gosh, always, always. Organic citrus in general, especially if you're planning on using the zest. If you're making a lemon cheesecake or key lime pie or anything like that where you're super zest heavy, or you're making homemade ice cream, all when that stuff. Does. Organic is more expensive in the yes. US, mm -hmm. right? Yep. So if you can not afford to buy only organic right. uh, vegetables and fruits, what would be like the one you, you, you should not compromise? I'd say your fruits, particularly things you eat in the morning. Berries, citrus, apples, pineapples, those things should absolutely always be organic. I'd say things that maybe you could get away with, maybe some greens, lettuces, things like that. I'd say if you, if you have to go non-organic, those are gonna look, be a little bit more acceptable. I think the best thing to do is eat locally and organic when you can, for sure. Is it because uh, for the environment? Uh... It's an environmental thing, like the carbon footprint, but also nutritional, like your nutrition. I mean, a lot of times these, especially things like avocados or watermelons, they're picked before they're ripe, right? And just to be able to ship them here. So a lot of times you're getting a product that even though it's organic, has little to no uh, nutritional value because it was picked before it was even ready to be 100% okay. grown or before it was ripe. Peaches from France, for instance, right? Yeah. Like they pick them super hard yeah. and super not ripe so that they'll get ripe by the time they get there. And it's not normal. It's not yeah, good. Yeah. It's not good. It's it ruins so the quality true. for sure. This is probably perfect. They, mm. They're just nice and aromatic, not burnt, just nice and toasted. That's how we like. So you just turn this off? Yep, and we're gonna sit here, we're gonna let these cool and we're gonna finish okay. the dressing. Okay. So now okay. we're gonna keep going. So we're gonna take some garlic, right? Mm. So I'm gonna do this one. You know I do makeup with fingers. Uh. Oh, actually I'm gonna do your makeup, so you're gonna have <laughs> this, wait. my garlic mm. in my face. Love it. So you're gonna do this one, and then I'm gonna cut this shallot and put it in there. And then we're gonna cut up these pistachios. This is so satisfying. <laughs> this is also the time where I think it's really nice to put in mustard, so let's grab this. So we want to get all the ingredients in here before adding any oil. So do not throw any oil in here. Oil is last. We put oil in is last. Is there a reason? Yes, because we want to emulsify. The oil is going to help this all bind together. Oh, okay. Right? Now, I also love to add a little touch of sweetness to a dressing. You do not have to. I love a little maple syrup, a little honey to kind of balance everything okay. out. Okay. So do you want some? Or not? Sure. Yeah, just to give want? it the option. Maple's good. Okay. Making a dressing is a balance of flavors. Great. Love that. Just fill up the spoon. Done. So this, and now we are gonna cut the shallots. I'm gonna move this here. And you don't have to use a whole shallot. I like using a whole shallot, but it depends, you know? I mean, it depends on your preference. I think it's delicious. And this is super rough. I like to keep everything really nice and rustic. I think it's gonna be gorgeous over the dressing to have little pieces of shallot and pieces mm. of herb and pieces of, you know, so don't get bent out of shape on making it perfect. It does not have to be perfect. And now we're gonna cut this lemon. For the juice. For the juice. And when we squeeze it over our hand so oh. that we don't get any seeds in there. We're good. Mm -hmm. Love that. Beautiful. Salt everything, even your dressing, everything. But now, we're gonna get these pistachios. Okay. Pop, pop, pop. Move this aside. And we're gonna 
cut. So get that knife. Okay. And get to chopping. Oh, really? <laughs> yeah. Like this? Yeah. Oh, that's easier. Yeah, nice babe. Cook, right? So remember what I was talking about with you rubbing the herbs, yeah. right? This is almost what you're doing with the pistachios. Mm. You're activating the oil and the flavor of the pistachio, which is going to be great once we get it in this okay. dressing. That's perfect. Okay. In the okay. bowl we go. Love it. Oh, no, no. It's going to be so good. Mm -hmm. Now, okay. we get the whisk. You want to get everything kind of integrated that's already in there. Yeah, it's mm. a yum situation. And this is where I think it's important to kind of, you know, how does that taste? Is it any more garlic? Is it too garlicky? I think it's fine. You want to already be whisking. I think it's important to get the whisk kind of going. And then goes the oil. And you can see it already thickening up. This is called emulsification. Mm. Tiny little drizzle of olive oil. You're not, you're not really going crazy. This will keep in the refrigerator for about five to seven days. Now we're gonna add some herbs. So we're gonna add some basil. I don't wanna do anything fancy here. It's literally all about just getting the herbs in there. Herbs go last because if you put them in before, they're gonna lose their flavor. Also, we wanna make sure when we're cutting basil, one or two cuts. It was one cut, now two. Now we're done, okay, because you will bruise the basil. When you buy it straight, put the roots on it, right, and we'll come yeah. home, you get a little glass of water, something like this, right, okay. and stick it straight into water. It works right back up. Okay. If you have it in the refrigerator for three or four days and it's looking super limp, like it's looking like, I have to throw this out, it's gone bad, pop it in water and it'll come back, back up. Okay. So okay. it's Just always, um, yep, yeah, and you throw it in. Done. Here's our dressing. So we're gonna dress our beets mm. with this. The beets will be kind of more firm, but kind of yep. soft, and then you have this crunch. Insane. And then this is gonna dress the salad. We're gonna have the greens. It's gonna be crazy. My hands smell so good. <laughs> okay, so let's check on the beets. They're on their way. Gorgeous. Beautiful. So let's try to put them back in and see if maybe like by the time we're done, if it's also like. So now we are going to taste this ricotta. So I made this yesterday. Obviously everybody's not gonna go out and make their own ricotta cheese, okay? So what I wanna say is explore where you live and find a place that sells high quality dairy. I'd say most places, especially if you live in a city, even most towns have a butcher shop, okay? And if you can go to a butcher shop, a butcher shop is gonna have access and gonna be able to get you high quality dairy. Obviously we're looking for hormone free, you're looking for organic, wherever you can find it. The most important to thing have organic are animal products, 1000%. And I even mean down to like honey. Anything coming from an animal is the most important thing to have organic, like 1000%. This ricotta I have seasoned already. It already has salt, some pepper, a little bit of green onion, some garlic, some lemon, some lemon zest. When you buy your ricotta, make sure that it expires more than a week from when you buy it. Some okay. people will buy ricotta and it expires like two days from now. No good. Okay. No good. Okay. So make sure you buy it. Fresh ricotta expires seven to 10 days out. So you can taste this as is, but we're gonna add some more stuff to it just because, yummy. Mm. We're gonna add a little basil. So I'm gonna have you chop a little bit of basil here. It's perfect, and just cut that. Now I'm gonna have you stir that up. Stir it up. I mean, this is good with this dish, but it's good on like bagel, with any other vegetables. Yeah. You can mix it with smoked your avocado, salmon. smoked salmon. I mean, it's like, it's pretty versatile. So now the ricotta is done. Mm -hmm. But I want to talk to all my other dairy-free people because I am a dairy-free person. This recipe is extra delicious, even without the ricotta. You can use hummus, which I made. You can literally replace this entire thing with hummus and it's 100% vegan and also absolutely scrumptious. So I just want to talk about it. I myself don't eat dairy, but I, of course as a chef, I cook with it all the time. So uh, I just thought it was worth mentioning, you know, just for our, like, I love our vegans out there. This is delicious <laughs> and a really great option. And also like lends just deliciously like, with the way that we're cooking the beads and yeah. the dressing. You can't go wrong with that. And who doesn't like hummus anyway? 
Like right. faded or not, exactly, right? right? So I just want to... We're almost done. Now we really only have to Yeah, we still have some time, so let's do makeup. You have your base and we showed before. Yeah, you guys saw how I do my everyday makeup. Yes. This is my everyday makeup. I always wear it. It's, it's, it's literally always the same. What are we I doing? I just want to like add the color mood on it. I know, yeah. I know, I know. It's our time. I'm so excited. Okay, so I'm going to get my products and we're going to get started. We are doing a color mood of this Beats recipe. So I'm having my favorite lipstick from Lauder, that is the liquid lipstick, Quiet Riot. I have it on me, gorgeous. but it can be like really dark and intense. Ooh, this beauty. Is... Yeah, that's gorgeous. But then I'm going to put a tiny bit of this Pat McGrath eyeshadow just to bring the tone a little bit on your eyes, but I don't, I'm not going to do like a full look. I start with the lips because when you do a statement on your lips and you want to add something on your eyes, it's better to start with a statement. So you're sure how you can balance the eyes right. Because if you start with the eyes, you're going to be like, oh, it's so pretty. You're going to put it on, put it on, put it on. And then you do the lips, you're like, oh my god, what did I do? It's too much. That's true. I do the same with the recipe. Those the beats <laughs> in the center. That's so true. Yeah. So I'm going to do a bit of an ombre. Because with one color, one product, you see, you can go from this color and then... Yeah. Um, beautiful. Beautiful. It's like, like paint. So mouth closed first. Right. Because then I can really see the shape of your lips. Mm. Because when you have your lips open, it changes the picture. to be too sharp so I'm just gonna blend a little bit the mm -hmm. edge also because it's gonna almost diffuse the color a little so I just take an eye brush and I just slowly caress this brush caress and I want to center the heart, as we say. Do you, can you say that in English? In French, we'll say the heart of your lips. Yeah. To be more blended. So as soon as you blend, the color will pop. So you add more mm -hmm. texture on the top. is a bit more dry and I'm just gonna brush a little bit the edge and you can add so it's gonna dry matte so it's more like a velvet texture I'm sure you add layer mm -hmm. so you have the intensity because it has to dry a little that is so cool okay yeah, it's like the outside. I see, that's my turn. Yeah, so that would be your human palette. It's ready. I see what you mean, how like. Can you close your mouth? Mm hmm. Like, man, I don't know why I've always been putting lipstick on with my mouth open. <laughs> Never again. <laughs> no. This lip formula is crazy amazing. What you can do to make it easy, like make your lips tight and then you blend it. It's like your color. And you see, I will do a little bit here. It gives something a bit more. Yeah, it's like a big kiss. Yeah. So now you need a yeah. new eye brush. That changed everything for me. That's like I didn't know what my lips looked like before. <laughs> This color's exactly our color mode. Right? Like identical. So when you told me you wanted to cook beets, I was like, great, I can yes. use my favorite lipstick. Oh, this is perfect. It's also like the it's the perfect going out of winter into spring yeah. moment. Right? Yeah. Beats and then this it's still your chance to have a statement. Yes. <laughs> it's still like, 
chance. You still your chance because we're getting into the time where you can't do that anymore. <laughs> I see something on okay. my side. Okay. Do like this again. If you tucked it in. Let's see here. It's missing. In the light, it's crazy. <laughs> oh, it's amazing. It makes my teeth look whiter. Super white. That's <laughs> so crazy. And I get a little bit bone. Brush the center. Uh -huh. Because it's removing a little bit of the pigment. Yeah. That's why I'm happy we didn't do the eyes first because we want to keep it very natural. Because you're right about the thing. If you do the eyes and you're like, oh, now my yeah, lip is strong. Yeah, the, the lips tell you where to go. So I'm just going to bring a little touch sure. of the color. Mm -hmm. I'm going to start here. A bit of the center. And then I'm just going to blend and see how it looks. The, the pigment is just gonna blend with your eyelid. Oh, it's so pretty. It's like uh, like ethereal. It's like so romance. Yeah, romance. Exactly. Yeah. Okay. Sorry. Oh my god, it's, it's like very, my very it's discreet. And it's perfect for our food. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, this is it's it's crazy. It's so wearable. Yeah, it you is know? wearable. Super wearable. Like this is uh, this is as much day as it is nighttime moment. Yeah. You know. I think we love lipstick yeah. and cheeks. And now I know how to like use a lip brush. I don't use a lip brush in my life. To have it on your hand first, you know, and like that that was like good, the like, controlling the product. Yeah, you can control it better. Yeah. Gorgeous! Oh my god. I love it. I'm glad you like it. It's beautiful. <laughs> Thank you. I love it. You like it? I'm so happy. So do you think it. our bits are cooked? See, babe. All right. I'm happy that I don't have to do the dishes with I like, see. <laughs> no dishes, no cleanup, nothing. And we're just gonna, all you gonna do is unravel. And there's our beets. Beautiful. Gorgeous. You can see the rosemary. And you see how they look different. They all kind of cook differently. This is how we're gonna plate the dish. Okay. So we're, so we're just gonna build a salad. So this is a mesclun salad. I built this yesterday at the farmer's market. Okay. You don't have to use mesclun, you can use arugula, you can use kale, you can use lettuce, it doesn't really matter. Okay. These are some pea greens, some pea shoots, delicious. And these are actually carrot sprouts. Oh, so we'll really? talk a little bit about micro sprouts. Yeah. So micro sprouts are the green that pop out before the vegetables actually grown. If you taste them, they're actually super sweet. The reason I want to talk about them is I want to encourage people to eat them. If you are someone who has a super sensitive tummy, if you're really sensitive to 
kale, broccoli, cauliflower, and you're wary about grains, eating microgreens is a great way to kind of get your body used to digesting okay. greens. So um, this is a really overall pretty gentle salad. So I like to use my hands, you use whatever, and just kind of pre-mix the salad. And now we're gonna get and we're gonna put the ricotta on the bottom of any plate. Again, this can be, this is a portion for anywhere from three to four people to have for a dinner portion or to share. I'm gonna treat this kind of like a little share plate. Basil, yeah, oh my god, it's insane, I know. Okay. Okay, and now what I wanna do is, you notice I keep the beads separate, right? Because yes. they, you know, the colors. Yes, that was the other batch we did, we didn't film it yep. off the darker beads. Darker beads, darker beads, and Kyoga beads. At this point, it doesn't really matter, you can put them all in the same. But what I wanna do is I just wanna lightly spin these beads in this dressing, right? Okay. And then we're gonna take them and just place them on top of the ricotta. It's <laughs> it's so yummy, right? I'm like feeling drunk almost. I'm like, I need to do this. It's so beautiful. And then what we're gonna do is, like I said, this is a salad mix. You can just eat this like this. It's delicious, it's scrumptious. Yeah. But I like to come in here and grab however greens or whatever you have. So here, how about this? Here. Everything should be. So I like to put the kind of herbs down first because okay. I want to make sure you get a, a nice herb in every single okay. bite, you know? I think that's really nice and important. So a little bit of these carrot tops in there. Now obviously you don't have to do this at home, but I mean, it doesn't hurt. So now you, at this point, you can mix these two together, not gonna hurt anything, okay? Let's get these all mixed in. And we call these, we're, this is what we say when we say dressing the beets, this is what we're doing, we're just dressing them. Mm -hmm. Gorgeous. Can I have this, another little side plate by the way? Yes. You want this, like this? Yeah. Gorgeous. <coughs> to do the same or? Uh, nope, just like I to put the little, to put some greens on. Take this salad here. Just like grab a healthy load of it, right? Here. Gorgeous. And we are just gonna take some nice chunks of this chunky, amazing dressing and just kind of everywhere. Mm -hmm. Gorgeous. Gorgeous. And then, of course, for more crunch, pistachios on top. And I love Marconas, and I think they go really, really nice with this dressing. And then you're done. Oh. And what I like to do, if I was serving this for dinner, what I would do is I would serve this salad on top of this plate. Put enough of here so you can see the image. Yeah, that's see it. great. Okay, great. So, just this. This is I'm not usually a dairy eater, but I'm doing it. I'm doing it because it's so it's so delicious. I have to. Mm. Mm. It's good, right? <laughs> Amazing. Isn't that so yummy? You see how the the lemon is just so great with the beets, with oh, the earthiness of the beets. I know it's, it's good. So good. <laughs> I know. And super fresh. Everything is very fresh and alive. You know, right into spring. You know, it feels mm. very like. Almost spring kind of food, you know? Mm -hmm. Thank you. <laughs> You're welcome.
<laughs> and it's welcome. easy to do. I'm so happy. It's yeah. good and easy. It's good, easy, quick, fast, easy cleanup. Almost no, like literally almost no cleanup. Mm, that's perfect. If you think about it. And it cooks itself. Yeah. And while you're cooking, you can do 90 million other things. And your makeup. For and your makeup. Hello. <laughs> I know, I look amazing. Right? I feel good about myself. <laughs> That's good. Because I'm feeling really good right now. <laughs> That's so good. It's insane. Mm. So the real question is, when are you coming back for a new video? <laughs> So I hope you guys loved uh, this video as much as we loved making it and please keep taking pictures and tagging us when you recreate the recipe because that makes us so happy. 